Okay, we're going to do a video on how to install Windows 95 on Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. This is the first part. Here we are. Are we going to install it with floppies? Okay. New. Next. Create virtual machine. Next. Um. Just give it a name. Let's call it Windows 95A because 95A on floppies. It comes with 13 set of floppies and install floppies, so a total of 14 floppies. At the RAM, I recommend 64. It can already, it also run with 16 megabytes, but it's very slowly. Microsoft recommends 32. 64 is just fine. New virtual hard disk. Um, two gigabytes hard disk is just fine. Click that. Start it up. Um, you also need a DAS boot disk, and here we got a boot disk from DAS 6.22. Let's open it up. DAS loading it. We first have to make a DAS partition to install Windows 95 to. Just to prevent that the setup is going to nag. Uh, type at command line F disk, hit enter. One. Create from the dust partition. It's just fine. Yes. Now we're going to put the first diskette of here we go, Windows 95 TW TDW. We're ready, so press any key. And now wait so the setup is starting. There we go. Format this drive. Hmm. Alright, disk one. It's going to do a routine check on our system. Maybe find a mention. Um, my last PC was really a pile of crap, actually. <coughs> it couldn't even run um, Virtual PC 2004 without any lags at all. The best I could run on it was Windows 95 without running out of memory. Or it just stalled. Copyright warning, just I don't give a damn. Let's go further. Um, well, we don't want a network adapter since this is 95A. The rest is just fine. He's now analyzing the computer. Um, I'm making a bit of a cut here because it's lagging a lot. It's sometimes very slow, so I'll be right back with the new screen. Okay, we're at the next screen. This cut saved me about two minutes. <coughs> we don't want anything of this list. So, it's 95A, so we don't have any internet. Internet Explorer is not included. You can download it somewhere and then put it in the virtual machine. Just put it on a floppy or something on a, or a CD. Now it's going to copy the files. Preparing. Don't give a damn. First Windows with the start button. Maybe nice to mention. Um, Still today, you know, the Windows Vista is still based on the same graphical user interface as Windows 95. Pretty remarkable, isn't it? I think so. Either. Um, but Windows 95 was still based on DOS, so that's why DOS games always ran good on Windows 95, 98, and ME. Although nobody likes Windows ME because it's just a pile of crap. I mean, come on, Windows.
Windows ME was also based on DOS, but it crashed a lot. It's also the worst Windows ever. And no, Windows Vista is not the worst ever. Well, Windows Vista has a feel to it that's not completely finished. There are some feat features that you're really missing, which you really have in Windows XP. Well, there's one pro about Windows Vista, and that is it's a lot better protected against viruses and spyware than XP was. XP was actually worse than Windows 2000 when it comes to protection. Although Windows 2000 sucked a lot more since it didn't even support Wolfenstein 3D. I've got a CD-ROM here. Um, which says pretty ridiculous things like you move around the world with amazing detail but the supported Windows versions on it are Windows 98, ME and XP. That also works on Vista. But <coughs> the remarkable thing is 2000 has a red cross. It's not supported. And I don't really get why. I mean 2000 is Uh, the 2000 wasn't that bad at all. Anyways, now let's finish this disk in a floppy drive. This was this was this was also in Windows 3.1. This thing, eh? It was the the menu which nowadays is the file menu now we're booting it up for the first time Windows 95A alright, I think this is enough I mean it's installed now, you only have to give up work group and stuff and we've got a Windows protection error unexpected, but it's set up correctly only thing you you can uh, get past this if you uh, let's see what it was it again um, if you put hardware virtualization off and you won't get this error anymore all right thanks for watching and uh, watch part two too for uh, the CD-ROM installation.